Um, you know, that supermodel Giselle, she wants to get paid in euros. Well, me, Michelle Stevens, bookkeeper, comedy producer, cupcake enthusiast, publicist, wants to get laid by euros. Yeah. <laughs> um, I dated Brits, Irish, Scottish, Aussies, Commonwealth, yeah, blah. Blah blah, but I mean, the ones I want to talk about tonight are more the uh, of the of the European persuasion. Um, they seem to be very interesting, and it's, it also helps that they don't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> or English isn't their first language, should I say? Because I know that some of my friends have said we don't want to hear the guys talk, <laughs> and if if they do talk and they speak in a foreign language, it's like it's just noise. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I'm going to start with, um, I met a guy, I meet all of them in bars, just to preface, all bars in New York, it's not hard. Um, first, I'm, um, about, oh gosh, 2000, I met a Finn, so it's like rare, I mean, someone from Finland, um, and named Aro, and really sweet guy, super pale. Um, super hot, and um, after having like five jillion drinks at a Irish bar, we go back to his hotel room, and you gotta love a man that travels with his own vodka, because <laughs> he had a bottle of Finlandia. We open that up, we drink some more, and we don't really <coughs> totally seal the deal that night because a lot of drinking was going on, but um. The next morning, um, he he woke me up and um, it was it was fun. <laughs> so, but without getting into details, uh, we had uh, <laughs> we uh, we spent the whole weekend together. Um, I took him to the Museum of Natural History, um, to another museum, and um, brought him down here to Lower East Side to Arlene's Grocery, which was funny because it was. It's back when Lloyd's side was edgy. It's 2,000 people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, showed him a good time. And he, he actually wanted to come back. He was supposed to come back the weekend of, I believe, the 14th of 2001. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to come back, and I haven't seen him since. But I know he's still alive and well, and he's probably married in Finland. <laughs> That's good. So, um... Next, I wanted to talk about this um, this Dutch guy that I met, um, which is just a ridiculously interesting person. He's um, like a a jewelry um, buyer, and when I I met him at a bar, and he was wearing like these turquoise like necklaces, like he was wearing the man necklaces, but it was <laughs> it was nice. It was like. I want that as opposed to uh. Um, and we were at this jazz bar lounge thing in the village, and um, it was summertime. And he was remarking on how you know pretty my feet were, were and I was like, I'm wearing sandals. I was like, he might have a little foot fetish thing going, but I was like, fine. He's hot, and we go back to his hotel room, which I remember this because I had my camera at the time. Um, overlooking Central Park, because it was at Central Park South, I don't remember the hotel room, but it, I mean, hotel name, but it wasn't in the plaza, but it was near the plaza. Yes, so anyway, yes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> she probably knows. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you want to. The Essex. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we go back to his room, and it's lovely. Um, a marvel, you don't get a chance to, I mean, if you live here unless you, you know, know people who can afford these places. You don't get a chance to come to these really nice hotel rooms. And um, so after getting in the hotel room and we, I mean, we took a shower together and that was all very hot and steamy and wet. And it's so funny because I remember the shower very well, mainly because the, it was first a hot steamy shower. But then near the end, he actually turned on the cold water because that's how he likes it. He, li he likes to end his shower with cold water. And I was like, like this. But I guess because it made my nipples hard, it worked out good. <laughs> so then we're, you know, we have sex in the bed. And then I think, I'm trying to, I don't know if this is the morning or the night 
it was late. It was early morning, late night. We had sex, and then um, later on, after having like you know just regular missionary style sex, he. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to explain because I didn't think I didn't think about this until um, Rachel was talking about butt plug, but um, it was no butt plug was used. But I had oh I was like oh accoutrements were you so I tell you so anyway he goes into he goes into his travel bag and I was like well, why is he going to the bathroom with travel bag so he bring he pulls out a cock ring because you know that's. That's, you know, that's how he rolls. So, <laughs> you know, I was like, fine. And um, we have sex doggy style. It was hot. And then, and then, <laughs> while I'm still like my, I'm lying down, stomach, face down, really, in the bed. And he pulls my, my, my legs up. And, and then he, I thought he was putting like lotion on the soles of my feet because I wasn't sure what was going on. But it was actually loop. So what he did was basically he put his penis between the soles of my feet and he fucked my feet. And as Rachel and Allison can attest, he is forever called a foot fucker in my in my memories. Yeah. So so Lars. Um and then lastly, which actually happened um before the foot fucker. So foot fucker I wasn't all that surprised about because I just know that I I like your opinion. They're they're freaky. Um, I had the, I don't know, raise your hand if you've had a threesome. Don't be shy, you're the girl. I teach a class. <laughs> Hands down. Raise your hand if you had a threesome with two French people. <laughs> two. Okay, all right. So you know where I'm going. I have to. So the ultimate threesome is to have a threesome, you know, a menage a trois. And I, I had a menage a trois with two um, French guys, one named Olivier, who was um, dating for like a couple of weeks before he was going back to France. And uh, right before he left, he um, he recruited his buddy, Jean, I don't remember which, it was Jean, it was one Jean Pierre, it was, maybe it was Jean Marc, it was one Jean Claude, it was Jean something. Um, right be like the weekend before, um, Olivia was going back to um, Paris. Um, we went out for drinks and stuff, and um, he called his friend, and his friend came over, and we we were just hanging out. And I didn't. I was like, why is he? Why did he invite? I thought it was gonna be, you know, a long time. Me and him. It's our, it's our last hurrah. But I didn't know what he had in the back of his mind. She's like, she's really sexy. That's what he kept telling his friend. And he was like, look, he's hot for you. So he was setting the stage. And I was like, OK, what's going on with this? And I really wasn't sure until he took my hand and put it on his friend's hard cock <laughs> between the jeans. I was like, whoa, he is really into this. So, <laughs> so um, we go back to Jean whatever's place <laughs> and, um, and we have a threesome and the threesome I gotta say the French know how to do it uh, they know how to do it they, they're totally unselfish where you know everyone gets attention no one gets jealous and and it was the the best thing about it is that Olivier told Jean-Marc how I like to be fucked he said she likes this and I was like, oh, he's been paying attention. So <laughs> if you need to have a threesome for a guy to show how much he's paying attention in bed, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. But anyway, uh, so as the dollar goes down, because you know we are in a recession, <laughs> and the European tourists come to town, I get to come early and often, or well, often and early. Thank you. <laughs>